Hey guys, it's Morgan coming to you from another race. We got the Sandinos. Woo! We got Michael. We are getting ready to go team racing. We are out here in Grand Junction for the Weeby Racing Grand Junction round. There's Samothy J. Maholka coming in from Grit Motorsports. We got the boys. We got Mama Ruth, Leroy, everybody over there. We are gonna have a ton of fun. We're gonna go team racing right now. So I'm gonna get some video of that. And then, uh, yeah, it's gonna be rad. If you wanna do that, let's do it. Tom, you got any advice for me? Go fast. There we go. That's all I got. <laughs> so try to get a really good start and get out front. We are a racer. I got two seats, Sam and Tyler. Is it Tyler? Yeah, Sam and Tyler on my team. They're C riders. I'm an A rider. That allows us to race the C team race. So I'm going to start and hopefully jump out front. That's the goal. Uh, get a really, really good first lap in and set them up for success. So. Next thing you see is going to be us going fast. Hey guys, real fast, let me just jump in here and remind you to please use the Rocky Mountain ATV link in the description below to buy anything you need from Rocky Mountain. It really, really helps us out and it doesn't cost you any more money than normal. And Rocky Mountain ATV honestly is one rad company. I'm learning more and more how awesome they are. So again, please check that link out. Use that if you can. It makes a big difference and I appreciate it. <laughs>
ready. Sam knows getting ready. We've got Ewan getting ready. We've got everybody up there. We're gonna head up to the start of this race. We're gonna have a ton of fun. This is gonna be rad, guys. Bike broke. I got one. Huh? Did I win? 
Oh yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you won. <laughs> so, nice work, dude. He just put that thing together too. I know. He just put. Woo! And I was trying to let you pass, and they kept getting smaller and smaller, and then I caught the wall. I was like, ah, yeah. that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Nice work. Nice work, boys. How'd everybody do? Thomas won. Ewan's fourth or fifth. He's madder than hell, so I wouldn't ask him about it. Uh, Cause Otto beat him, and he's just like, oh, oh dude, he's so mad. Is Otto on another lap? Yeah, he is. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, he just squeaked under, yeah. Five seconds. <laughs> he had to, he, he had to go do it. Your dad to make a little love. There's a good chance there's going to be some dust. <laughs> there's a, try to avoid it. <laughs> Stay away from the dust. Good job.
the dumbest thing I've ever done. Dude, I've, I've never crashed so many times. I, I never went down, but I had a couple of those whiskey where I shouldn't be riding a 450 moment. Oh. There's that dangerous rock in the woods right here. Oh yeah, in. yeah. First lap, I doubled, hit the front wheel. Hold <laughs> on, there's a dude that's on my stomach, full throttle on this bike, just across the <laughs> desert. <laughs> Towie! Oh, no, that was brutal. dude, I, I haven't ridden that poorly in a really long time. <laughs> well, there it was guys. Uh, the Weeby racing grand junction round. Um, I still sound like this because of all the dust I breathed in. Uh, that was the dustiest race I personally have ever raced. I've raced the Baja 1000. I'm getting ready to race the Baja 1000 and there wasn't that much dust in that race <laughs> like that was the most ridiculous thing ever uh it was so brutal to try to race in um man my hat is off to everybody who went fast in those conditions uh you guys are just better badder riders than i am i i don't know how to do it i don't want to get hurt i mean i crash you saw me crashing uh, a million times it there are more than that i didn't even put them all in because i got tired of <laughs> watching myself crash uh, I just put the spectacular ones in. Um, I'd like to believe that if I hadn't made that mistake right at the beginning, maybe I would have had a better race because uh, uh, that really rattled my cage. Um, I crashed two times and like one big time and then the next time was like just like tipped over and I really think I probably hit my head. I mean, I I didn't, didn't lose any like time or anything like that, but I'm not 100% sure that I didn't like ring my bell. Uh, it was ugly. It wasn't pretty. Uh, sorry to everyone who supports me. Sorry for that performance. <laughs> uh, ended up sixth out of seven in my class. Uh, one guy quit, and I was right behind TJ, the guy that I was talking to at the end on the Yamaha. Um, he uh, he and I both just had terrible races. <laughs> that was absolutely brutal. But the reality is, I'm still stoked we went. Uh, my kid Thomas won overall C and open C. Super proud of him. Ewan ended up sixth in open C in that giant, massive class. He's really upset about it because uh, a friend of his beat him that he usually beats, and uh, he had a he had a bad race too. Uh, but here's the good news, guys. That has inspired me to actually put work in on my writing. Uh, I've been talking about it to myself and to my friends now for a long time. Uh, I bought the uh, Chris Burt Say No to Slow series. Uh, I started watching it, but I didn't really get into it. Uh, I've been trying to make time to do that stuff. Well, that's it. After that performance, 
I'm doing it. Like I'm actually going to put real work into fundamentals and getting better on the bike, not just going for rides and hoping that that makes me better. Also working on my fitness. Um, yeah, I'm not the skinniest dude on the world in the world and I definitely could be in better shape. So working on that, uh, I've been eating better already for the last like month. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do it. It's happening. This has got me focused. The Baja 1000 has me super focused because I got to be on top of my game uh, with that pro class uh, race and it's going to be awesome. So thank you guys for joining me for this video. I know it wasn't uh, the heroic effort that no <laughs> hopefully we normally put in, uh, but I'm really proud of my kid, Thomas. He is just dominating class uh, this year. So Thank you guys, I love you. Get out, spread the gospel two wheels, and as always, I hope that what we're doing here inspires you to maybe get out and race. You dirt bikes!